Hello there, good to see you. What we're going to do in this video is considering the function f of x equals the absolute value of x divided by 2x plus 3. We're going to find the equations of the horizontal asymptotes and we're used to functions having just one horizontal asymptote. We'll see if that's the case with this one here too. So remember that a horizontal asymptote results from the limit as x approaches infinity of the function and as well the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function. Now remember that the rational functions we've dealt with in the past usually have the same horizontal asymptote on both sides. And this isn't exactly a rational function because of the absolute value in the numerator. But one thing that's going to help us to evaluate these limits is remember that the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0, negative x if x is less than 0. Which basically means the absolute value of x is the number underneath the bars if you have a non-negative number. And it's the opposite of the number underneath the bars if x is negative. So let's look at each of these limits separately. So as x approaches infinity, we know that that means that x is positive. So this becomes the limit as x approaches infinity of x over 2x plus 3. Now that's looking more familiar. We go through and we divide by the highest power in the denominator, which is x. So we do limit as x approaches infinity. We divide every term by x. So you have x over x over 2x over x plus 3 over x. And then we simplify. So you have 1 over 2 plus 3 over x. Now ordinarily, I would just write the limit of the numerator over the limit of the denominator. But in this case, we can see here's what's going to happen. As x approaches infinity, this term is going to go to 0. And this limit is 1 half. So that means that one of the horizontal asymptotes is y equals 1 half. Now let's see if the other limit gives us the same thing. So as x approaches negative infinity, the absolute value of x is going to be negative x because we're saying that x is less than 0 for sure. So this is the limit as x approaches whoops, negative infinity of negative x over 2x plus 3. So we go through the same motions here. We have the limit as x approaches negative infinity. I'm going to divide everything by x again. So negative x over x over 2x over x plus 3 over x. And there's some simplification that can happen here. We have the limit as x approaches negative infinity, negative 1 over 2 plus 3 over x. And a very similar thing happens here as what happened in the other limit. We have negative 1 in the numerator for sure. We have 2 in the denominator for sure. 3 over x will tend to 0. And this limit is negative 1 half. So that means that another horizontal asymptote is y equals to negative 1 half. And if you were to graph the function, you would notice that to the right, the graph levels off to y equals 1 half. And to the extreme left, the graph levels off to y equals negative 1 half. Kind of cool.